Fortnite has made many amazing seasons throughout the game's existence, but there's one season that was most successful out of all. Chapter 1 Season 7 was released on December 6th of 2018 and being among one of the most loved Fortnite seasons by players. Season 7 had more players playing than past seasons and Season 7 racked up the playtime that players played. Season 7 was a Christmas based item with many new items added to the game. With the release of Season 7, lots of new items and guns were introduced into the season making the loop pool way more diverse. Now let's talk about the two most dreaded items added into Season 7, the Infinity Blade and the X4 Stormwing, aka the plane. The Infinity Blade was placed on top of Polar Peak in the direct center. Players had to obtain it by claiming it for a certain amount of time before getting the sword in their inventory. The sword did 75 damage per hit and increased either your shield or health by 1 HP per second. Using the sword also made you move faster and having it was completely OP. I mean, let's face it, if you were getting chased by the sword, you knew that you were gonna die. Now let's talk about the planes. They were OP due to the fact that they had guns attached to them. I mean, if you saw one of these coming for you, you knew you were gonna die too because someone was either spraying or they were just gonna fly right into you. The planes were also crazy for rotation and they even allowed you to redeploy your glider when you jumped off so you could literally just bail out of the plane and you could fly to your next rotation wherever you wanted and they dealt tons of damage on players. Season 7 also brought in three new POIs, Frosty Flights, Polar Peak, and the most loved POI by many players, Happy Hamlet. The map was covered in snow in the lower left corner of the map at first and later was completely covered in snow. Now let's get into why Season 7 was so popular. Season 7 was a Christmas based season and snow later covered the entire map and made the season feel even more like the holidays. The Battle Pass was an amazing battle pass that included some of the most loved Fortnite Battle Pass skins. Speaking of the Battle Pass, comment if you had the Season 7 Battle Pass. Season 7 was also so successful because of the amount of players that were playing. Season 7 also brought a new weapons, new vehicles, new POIs, there wasn't much to complain about back then. Now let's talk about the Battle Pass. The Battle Pass was an amazing Battle Pass with some of the most loved Fortnite Battle Pass skins. Speaking of the Season 7 Battle Pass, if you guys had the Season 7 Battle Pass, what was your favorite skin or emo or glider or pickaxe? Just what was your favorite thing in that Battle Pass? My favorite cosmetic in the Battle Pass was definitely the Lynx. Yes, at first she was a very ugly skin, but once you leveled her up, she was such a cool skin. The Season 7 Battle Pass trailer was one of the most well thought out and incredibly made trailers. The Season 7 Battle Pass trailer was honestly in my opinion one of the best made trailers. It's just so unique and it brings back so many memories. Now I'm going to go ahead and play the Season 7 Battle Pass trailer just so you guys can also live those nostalgic memories. The Season 7 Battle Pass trailer was also a lot longer than normal Battle Pass trailers. I remember at the end of it, they left us on a major cliffhanger, which made me personally want to play a lot more. I don't know about you guys, let me know in the comments if it made you want to play more. Comment what you guys thought about this trailer and if it brought you back any nostalgic memories. If you guys played in Season 7, let me know if you guys enjoyed the season and also let me know what your favorite part was about the season. As always guys, thank you for watching this video, I appreciate it so much. Comment what you guys want to see in the next one. Peace out.